Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to change the volume um, from Swift. So I'm talking about the iOS's actual volume and there's quite an easy way of uh, ch changing it and I'm going to show you guys an extension to make it really simple and yeah, so uh, uh, let me just call it change volume and this is quite useful, let's just say if you had like an app which played some videos or some sounds and you wanted to change the volume, then you could use this to have an inbuilt one rather than the person having to change it themselves, but uh, I, don't, I don't really know why, but you would, you might want to have it, but yeah. So let me show you guys how to do it. So I'm just going to be creating an extension here, and if I create an extension, and it's going to be, an, oh, one thing you also need to do is we need to import media player so like for like for audio we have to import audio player uh, no it's not AV yeah AV foundation these uh, that's what we have to do for audio now for general media you just import media player and now we can do an extension of an MP volume view which is just the uh, slider which you'd use and then we can create a function which is going to be set volume and the volume uh, this is going to be a float and inside of this we create the volume view first let volume view is equal to um, uh, mp volume view and then uh, let me see we create a slider which is just let slider is equal to volume view oh volume view dot subviews dot first so this is the sliders inside of a volume view and in the where we do uh, dollar sign dollar sign zero is UI slider so just share like that and as uh, oh, as UI slider. Oh, why can I not type as UI slider? Okay, and now all we really have to do now is just um, we just why is this not? Yeah, that's what I meant to do. Okay, so now what I can do is we can just do this in a dispatch q.main.async because basically with most things you can't actually uh, do it straight away because the system probably has other things to do but if we do dispatch q.main.async and we also have to do async after not just regular async just because uh, usually async after works a bit differently not too sure why but it's fine so we can just do dot now um, plus just small time so you can do plus one second or to make it more innocent I can do plus 0 0.1 seconds and then inside of this all you do is we set the we set the sliders value to the volume up here so slider dot value volume I mean dot value is equal to volume okay and now all we have to do here is we have this extension so um, let's just say uh, let me create a button and if we just create a button and let's just say set volume to uh, let's just say 0 0.5 and I'm going to link up this button set volume button and then inside of here to use this all you do is you do mp volume view dot set volume and then we can do uh, volume wait. Uh, oh let me add in a underscore so that we can actually use this set volume and then I think we do 0 0.5 like that let me just quickly build it uh, hmm what have I done wrong here? Uh, oh, 
Do I need to add static? Maybe that'll work. Okay, yeah, there you go. How oh, is this? Uh, Do I? Okay, let me try. Let's try this now. So, if I just try this, when we click the button, it should set the volume to 0 0.5. And basically, I think it goes from 0, 0.0 to 1.0, like most things. So, if we check the volume now, oh, I think it might crash if we try and set it. Um, or it's just set it, but we can't really change it. But to print the volume, I think we can do print um, AV audio session session dot shared instance dot output volume and if we just print that in the view did load so this will tell us the volume when it starts I think and it's at 0 0.6 now and then if I do this afterwards or actually we should probably do it after that then we could see that it would probably change uh, let me click the button. Oh, why is it still 0 0.6? Hmm. I'm not too sure. But I think that this is how it works. Maybe there's a separate volume. Um, but yeah, I think that this is correct. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. This is how you change the volume.